All right, my friends, welcome back to another episode of the Build Show Podcast. That's where I have my weekly time to get together with you guys and go deep. I got my buddy Steve Basic in the studio. Steve, how you doing today? Howdy. I am doing excellent day. Steve, you and I had a giant two days that we are literally wrapping up with yep. this podcast. The last thing we got to do today. What have we been doing the last two days, Steve? We've been talking build science 401. That's right, guys. The fourth installment on our build science series. As a fun side note, we actually got a trademark on the word build science. And this is the fourth installment. This is a 12 part series. We got a lot to talk about. We're going to give you a brief overview. We're going to even maybe give you a good building science, uh, quick overview on what you're going to learn on 401. And as of the time that you're listening to this, the at least the very first episode is going to be live on the buildshow.com. So go check that out. With that being said, from the Reisinger Build Studios in Austin, Texas, let's get going. Steve, before we get into build science, do you ever think it's weird that I always have a falsetto voice for when I start <laughs> in my end videos? I love it, man. It's we like, know, I'm, it's like, I have a, it's like I'm a teenager we again with a cracking voice. I get people always say, you know, Steve Basic Architect, even my family, Steve Basic Architect, Steve Basic Architect. <laughs> it's but, our thing. But people you know, know us. If you talk to marketing people, what's their goal? You don't want people to forget. Yeah. You That's want right. them to remember. Yeah. So yeah. you can make fun of me all you want, and but, you make fun of your voice, yeah. but you don't forget it. Uh, you know what's funny is over the years, I've gotten quite a few people that that film their, like, five-year-old doing some version of, oh, the build show, you yeah. know, and they send it to me, and I'm always like, this is awesome. A couple of times we've I've gotten their permission to use it as the actual ending on a video. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It's pretty that's fun. Awesome. So, Steve, this, I got to say, you know, we've, we've shot three – uh, prior to this, and we're just releasing 401 now on this free building science education. But this is one of my, and I'm I'm not supposed to have favorite children. I actually have four kids, and we have four episodes. This is my favorite mm -hmm. child. I feel like we absolutely killed this series. And the reason why, or one of the things that really separated it, besides just having a really cool studio set up and having all the magic happen, like from a technical standpoint, you and your architecture team, which uh, happens to look a lot like you, <laughs> uh, did an absolutely fantastic job of doing some 2D and 3D details for this series. Yeah. Uh, for the people listening who have no idea what we're talking about, how do you explain it on a on a so podcast. Both uh, Alexandra and Stevos, I, I went through and took 12 details um, of varying um, assemblies, below grade, above grade, roof assemblies. And I gave them the Stevos. So we have the 2D drawing, which you would typically see. It's exactly the one that we used in the construction drawings. And by the way, these aren't theoretical projects. These are not theoretical. Uh, they are actually built projects. Maybe one was under construction. No, I can't all remember. 12 of these. Well, are the, there's a couple of them that are under construction, but all of those 12 details have been built. Including a detail that was very near and dear to my heart because it was from my house. There you go. So, so we got a 2D drawing. We've got yes. all the all the goodies that come with a 2D drawing where here's this layer, here's that layer, here's an arrow that says this is exactly the product to use or this yep. is the sequencing. But then you took that 2D, 2D and did what? Yeah, Stevos took it and then he built a 3D model. So basically that detail is constructed in three dimensions and he slid pieces away. They're absolutely beautiful graphics. That's pretty cool. And it helps you understand that 2D detail in 3D, but mm -hmm. we didn't stop there. Alexandra then took the 3D model and she broke down the components of the four control layers. And so we have that 3D component, kind of overall component detail fully rendered, but in terms of say the water management, we only highlighted the components that we prioritized in the water management strategy. Yep, yep. And so everything else kind of gets grayed out. So when you look at the detail, you see the detail, but then you see 
the water management detail, and it just jumps out at you. Yeah, it's it's even colored blue like it's water. It's colored blue like water. And, and then and then also that enabled <clears throat> you and I together to say, now why didn't why isn't it this thing a part yeah. of that blue layer? Or what made you not color that? Or this thing I didn't expect to be colored is colored. Yeah. It really led to some fabulous discussions. Yeah, and in turn that was I mean it was a great educational tool in the office mm -hmm. because Stevos basically built. 12 houses yep. in detail. Yeah. Lexi rendered and, you know, messed around and refined the details of these 12 houses. How many man hours do you think you have in that? Just out of yeah, curiosity. We, Between the three I of you. mean, the very first one is, the first detail is probably somewhere around 20, 25 hours. The other four details are probably eight or 10 hours Total time. So we literally have hundreds of hours hundreds between hundreds of hours the three ago. of you in your office yeah. developing the details that you're We've about to We've been working on it for about six months now. And every episode has six of those details that we're yeah. talking about in the episode. Plus, our editing team is grabbing videos from those built projects and showing you what those look like in the field, too. So this is this is crazy good content, y'all. Yeah. You've got to watch these and not just watch them. Encourage your whole team, your architect buddy, your builder friend, your junior project manager, your framer, your homeowner to watch these and get the wisdom that we're laying down for free. Yeah, it's, you know, when I was developing it, it's almost like if I had to look at that detail, what kind of glasses would I have to put on to understand the water management profile? That's a great that way detail? to say it. Yep. And so we have that detail. We have that set of glasses. We have the air management set of glasses, the vapor management, and the thermal management set of glasses. So every time we click that screen, it's like taking off one set of glasses and putting another set on. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. And by the way, if you watch it on our site, uh, thebuildshow.com, and you're registered, you're a registered user, then you'll have the ability afterwards to take the quiz and, and answer a couple of questions. And now when you're done with this 12 part series and you've answered all those quizzes, we're going to give to you, this isn't it, but I'm holding this piece of paper like it is a build science 401 certificate with your name on it, signed by big red, Steve basic and myself that you can put on your wall and say, I actually not just watch this, but I learned and I studied and I took the time to actually take the quizzes. And I would put that on your office wall because people coming in are going to go, oh, my gosh, I did that, too. Or what's that? And then you can say, oh, that's just part of me educating myself and getting better at my craft. Yeah. And and I got to say, I mean, I, I would concur with you that I'm probably this was the most exciting series. And I think we're only going to get better yeah, I think so as, too. as we go through them. But the thing that I highly uh, uh really liked about this one is the fact that our conversations across these drawings mm -hmm. are priceless. Yeah, I think so too. Um, you I know, really enjoyed it. You asking from, a, say, a builder's perspective, me talking from an architect and designer's perspective with a building science slant for both of us, it really, there's there's some areas where even, you know, while we're talking, I, you're saying something and in my mind, it's like, oh, I should say this. And I was like, I'm like so excited, like, okay, Matt, shut up so I can say my <laughs> point. And, but there there's a lot of really good little gems in this. That uh, you need to pay attention because I think it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's very well done. I think the other fun thing about it, Steve, uh, and I'm thinking about a particular episode where we uh, showed a drawing that was from a house built quite a few years ago, a decade and a half ago, where you said, hey, here's the things I like about this and it would stand. Here's what I'd do differently if I were to build that same house again today. Yeah. Uh, so this isn't intended to be a series of take these drawings and use this to design your no. next house. This is educational, foundational for your education in building science, for you to gain the wisdom that Steve and I have from the years of seeing failures, from the years of investigating problems, uh, and taking up all the houses I've taken apart that from the decades around Austin, Texas, and from my years in the Northeast and the Northwest, 
all that knowledge is coming together in this free series. And it's probably, what, five and a half hours in yeah, total it's, it's probably length? five and a half, six hours total. Maybe yeah. six hours. It's a lot of good info. It's a good Saturday afternoon in the winter. You're going <laughs> to, you know, afternoon. Christmas, Christmas break is coming up. <laughs> I know you don't want to sit at your mother-in-law's, but you know what? You want to get here. I'm going to give you, this is Steve's tip of the day. You're at your mother-in-law's uh, and it's yes, Christmas weekend. Yes, yep. And you say, hey, I'm going to watch Building Science 401. Who wants to join in? Oh, that's a great idea. Get the popcorn out. Get the popcorn out. Yep. You're going to have the room and get the, the TV beer. all but to yourself. You're going to have the room all to yourself. <laughs> you mean your mother-in-law will watch it? Yeah. You? They're going to find something. Oh, she's go a do big dishes Build or Science something. fan, I've heard. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, that's uh, that's uh, that's really. But, you know, you, you touched on a huge, absolutely huge pet peeve of mine. You know, I've, I've gone and, and talked literally hundreds of lectures on building science. And inevitably, you know, you talk for two or three hours. Peter Yost and I would talk. Um, and then we get an architect that walks up and says, can I just show you this detail that I'm working on? And yes, OK, we will consult for free. And so they break out the detail and they go through explaining it. And my answer to them, they're like, OK, so what do you think? And my answer is, I think we answered that in the last three hours. Yeah. But you didn't pay attention. Yeah. Now you want me to just comment on now this you want, one particular thing. Yeah. You want me to throw fish in the boat. Uh, you don't want me to teach you how to fish. Uh, and oh, that's a great example. Yes. I think 401 is just an exemplary uh, um, way of showing you how to fish in yeah. the building science yeah. ocean. We're teaching you how to tie those lures, how to yes. cast, how to jig it so that we can get it that fish yeah. on. We're not putting fish in the boat for you. That's We're not exact, putting fish that's in the boat. That's a great analogy. You know, and you really need to watch it and understand. And, you know, both of us are pretty strong on social media. I, Matt's like off the charts. But the thing that I do is I monitor social media to get a feel for how the industry thinks and how it does. And I got to tell you, like, first of all, there's not a bigger assortment of experts in the building industry <laughs> than social media, right? I mean, I come across them all the time. I've been doing this for 60 uh, years. So funny. And then you see a picture on their, uh, you know, Instagram <laughs> profile. The guy looks like he's 30. And it's like, you've been doing this 60 years? Uh, it doesn't but, seem right. Yeah. Anyways, but then they're going to tell me how to do it. And that's fine. You might have your standards. You might have your way of doing it. But I will tell you, it is almost daily where I come across a comment or something that just totally contradicts sound building science. Yeah. And the problem with that is we constantly search for solutions, not the understanding. And as a side note to that, Steve, this series in particular isn't intended necessarily for 18-year-olds. I want to see the 50-year-old builders watching this because I'll be honest, as I read through this outline and was looking at your details, and frankly, as we were shooting it, I was learning some things yep. too. And not a day goes by in my life where I don't learn something new about building and construction and how physics affects buildings, how building science uh, works. Maybe something that uh, that I just had never a detail I'd never thought of before. I, don't you? I love it when that happens. This series is going to actually pop your mind a few times on some details that you're like, what? I never. Th that's so smart. Yeah. What a great detail. What a great idea. You got to watch this, guys. Whether you're a 65 year old seasoned vet or you're a high schooler that is thinking about getting into the trades, this series, which builds upon itself, start with 101, don't start in 401. You need that educational level. And each series is several hours long. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it does take time, but education takes time. And one of my most common questions in one of the drivers for Matt and I doing this is, we probably both get just pummeled with Hey, where can I get some really good knowledge on building yeah. site? Hey, I'm new to the building industry. Right. Where do I I'm go? going on my own. Like, where do I start understanding some of this stuff that you're posting? Well, yes. lo and behold, 101, 201, 301, and now 401. And we we break it down. And, you know, we both had a very good mentor in Joe Stebrick. Yeah, we did. Who I think is, you Purdue. know, yeah, that 
I think is probably one of the very best teachers um, in anything that I've ever come across because Joe understands very, very complex situations in building science, but his answer is anything but yeah, He's really complex. able to break it down. He breaks it yeah. down into the simplest common denominator and says, it's this, this, and that. Don't do this. Do that. Watch out for that. Yeah, that's right. And you're done. Yeah, and that's and that's really what we're doing in this Build Science 401 too. Is we're really helping to explain where the pitfalls are, where the f- extra forgiveness is built into the system. Uh, one thing that that's uh, super easy, but for some reason it's never stuck in my head that Steve pointed out is his ratio of overhang to window uh, hi- window head height, right. basically. Uh, so stay tuned for for that. I think that he lays it out for the first time in like episode eight yep. as we start moving up the building. Steve, I don't know about you, man, but I'm tired uh, <laughs> after shooting. Uh, I probably I'm took ready to a, shoot about four more podcasts, but I know you got to yeah, go. We got but some that's all right. I got to get home to the family. But we that's we right. probably to get six hours of video probably took us twelve hours of studio time or a little yeah. more. Yeah, I mean, we were in there bright and early, 8 and o'clock this morning. several hundred hours of prep time, and yeah. I didn't even mention them, but you know who else helped out with this? Our Peter. mutual friend, Peter Yost. Uh, Peter's a gem in the industry. You guys have been friends a long He's time. going to do the write-up on it that you're going to take the quiz from. Yep. So, yeah. He, so thank uh, you to Peter, too. And, uh, and he was a good check. Yes. Right? I mean, I, I ran through every one of the drawings with Peter on Zoom calls and went through it, went through what I was going to talk about, what I was going to highlight. And if you know Peter, Peter will question everything. Yeah. So he Super wanted answers guy. to why, why do you want to talk about that and not this? Well, I want to do it for this reason. Okay, that makes sense. Or no, I wouldn't do that. Let's yep. talk about how the best way to explain this is. That's for sure. And so, yes, Peter wasn't there. He was kind of ghosting 401, if you will, but he was totally there in spirit. For sure. Guys, really appreciate your time. And as a side note, go check out <clears throat> Steve's other series that's live now, too. He's a powerhouse on the <laughs> Build Show. And he's got uh, another series called Forever Home, which is probably on at this time of publishing. Yeah, episode four, through. five, yeah, six, we're, something we're like a that. Third, third of the way through construction. Go check that out on the buildshow.com. There's a hamburger menu at the top that says Build Experts. That's how you can find all of Steve's videos. The next one down says Build Originals. That's all our series content. Uh, we are at some point in the not too distant future going to have that also on some other locations uh, on the web. We'll uh, we'll keep that quiet for now. But you can watch all of our series content where we really follow start to finish some builds. You can catch up on my Build Across America series that Steve's been in several times. We really try to do our best to give you some great free education on the buildshow.com. That being said, guys, follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Build Show podcast.